Hi Kinders, for math today you will need page 305 out of your math book. Up at the top it is lesson 6-4, so you will need, let me move my, here we go, you'll need um, pages 305, 307, and 309. This is a three page lesson lesson 6-4 from your math book and you will need either a pencil or a crayon. You can choose what you prefer to work with. So go ahead and pause the video and get what materials you need um, and then push play when you come back. You might even like to use counters um, on this first page and if you'd like to get those you can. All right let me read you this math story and I want to see how you do all by yourself. All right there are four crayons in a box. Daniel puts three more crayons in the box. How can you find out how many crayons there are in all? Let me read that again. There are four crayons in the box. And then Daniel puts four more in there. How can you find out how many there are in all? Go ahead and push pause and see if you can figure that out all by yourself. All right, there are lots of ways that you could solve this problem. And if we were together right now, we would be talking about how you figured it out. Let me show you one way. I'm going to draw four counters to show that there are four crayons in the box. One, two, three, four. That was the first part of the story. I said, there are four crayons in a box. And then Daniel put in three more crayons. One, two, three. How can we figure out how many there are in all? We could count all of them. Yeah, that's one way. Four and three is how many? Can you count them to see how many? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Good job. All right, let's take a look at our math video for today. Yesterday, we learned how to join numbers using the word and. Let's see what we're going to learn today. Look at the picture. There are four crayons on the desk. The teacher adds two more crayons on the desk. How many crayons are there in all? There are six crayons in all. How are the counters like the crayons? There is a group of four counters. That is like the group of four crayons. There is a group of two counters. That is like the group of two crayons. What do four and two tell about the crayons? Four and two tell that there are four crayons in one group and two crayons in the other group. What word can you use to join the two groups? You can use the word and to join the two groups. What sign can you use to join the two groups? You can use the plus sign to join the two groups. Let's try it. Drag crayons to the mats to show adding two groups. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do four. And one, two. So this shows four and two. And look down here. Today we're learning that instead of the word and, we can write the plus sign. That means joining two groups. 4 plus 2. That's the same as 4 and 2. Let's learn some more. 
Now you can use the plus sign when you join groups. All right, let's get some practice with that together. Go ahead and turn your page to the back side of that first page so that it looks like this. So we just watched a video and we saw Daniel do a group of four crayons and he joined that group of four with a group of two. And we know that four and two shows joining those groups. But today, instead of using the word and, we're gonna write the plus sign. The plus sign is pretty easy. I'm going to erase this one and show it to you again. The plus sign goes straight line down and a line across the middle. Straight line down, line across the middle. That means plus. Just like and means joining two groups, the plus sign means joining two groups. Let's get some practice together. Here we go. Number one star. We're going to join these two groups. Here is one paintbrush. Let's write the number one. And let's write the plus sign. Three paintbrushes. This shows one plus three. Let's try some more. Here is a group of two books. Let's write the number two. Very good. And there's the word and. Instead of writing the word and, we're going to write the plus sign plus a group of three books. Let's write the number three. There, can you see my three? This shows two plus three, joining those two groups. Let's try some more. Turn your page. All right, let's look right here at number three fish. I'm going to get my crayon ready. Here we go. Here is a group of three paintbrushes. Let's write the number three. And if you need some help, that number is right there for you to copy. Plus a group of four paintbrushes. This shows three plus four. Let's try number four heart together. How many crayons are in the first group? One two, three, four, five. And the number five is right there for us. Go across, take a dive around the bend. That's a five. Five plus, here's a group of one. Let's write the plus sign first and one to show this one crayon right here. This five represents this group of five crayons. The plus stands for joining those two groups. The one is for this one crayon right here. So this shows five plus one. Let's try this one with the scissors. Here's a group of three crayons. Plus another group of three crayons. This shows three plus three. If we wanted to know what three plus three was, we could count all of the scissors. And we're gonna work on that a little bit tomorrow. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at these. These are called bookmarks. Here's a group of two bookmarks. Plus a group of one. This shows two plus one and that would show adding the two groups together. Let's go to the next page. Oh, I see some independent practice. I want you to try these all by yourself. So I'll read the directions for one of them at a time. We'll start with number seven, Christmas tree. I want you to try it by yourself after I read it. So you'll push pause and then push play to check your work. 
So for number seven Christmas tree, can you write the numbers and use the plus sign to show joining these two groups? Push pause and try it. All right, did you do it? You should have five to show this group of five erasers plus one for that eraser right there. This shows five plus one. If you made a mistake, go ahead and fix it. All right, let's look at number eight flag. I want you to write the numbers and use the plus sign to show joining these two groups. Push pause. All right, here we go. Two plus five. This shows two plus five. All right, let's try this one with the notebooks. I want you to write the numbers and use the plus sign to show joining these two groups. Push pause. All right, did you try it? You should have one plus two. Very good, how did you do? All right, let's look at number 10, house. This one's gonna be a little more challenging, so listen. I want you to draw two groups of counters to show five in all, and then write the number of counters in each group and the plus sign to show adding the two groups. This one we'll try a little bit together. All right, I want there to be five in all. So just like we use a part-part model, we're gonna put some on this side and some on this side so that we have five in all. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Do you see how I have five counters in all? All right, now let's write the numbers to show our two parts. Three, see them, one, two, three, plus one, two, two. This shows three plus two. There are lots of ways to make five. Did you try it a different way? All right, let's turn our page. All right, this is the homework page. You do not have to do this for homework, but if you want to, you can. This would be good practice for you. All right, kiddos, let's take a look at our another look video. I hope you had fun today learning how to use the plus sign and we will get even more practice with that. I have to find the right page. Just a minute. There we go. Thank you for being so patient while I get it ready. All right, here's our video. Well, well what? Well, what are we doing today? We're going to write a joining sentence, like this one. I know how to do that already. Okay, show me. Three and four. Great job, Daniel. The word and means we joined the group of three cubes and the group of four cubes. But did you know you can write the sentence another way? How? Like this. Three and four. What's that? That's a plus sign. It means and. The plus sign and the word and both mean we joined the two groups. Three and four is the same as three plus four. Three plus four is the same as three and four. So plus means and. Correct. Plus means and 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 means plus. That's good to know. I'm going to tell the others. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Daniel. Bye, mathematicians. Great job.